Tell me about this place. What does it look like? There's a lot of trees. Mm-hmm. It has a, a paved pathway. Mm-hmm. Um, the sun comes through the trees. There's a gate that's gold. Mm-hmm. And there's there's some kind of structure behind the gate. Mm-hmm. So let's go towards that gate and see if you can open it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's on the other side? It's, it's like a roundabout. Mm-hmm. With a, a fountain in the center of it. Mm-hmm. Does this roundabout seem modern or ancient? Kind of both. Mm -hmm. It's modern as in it's similar to a driveway, mm -hmm. but there are no cars. Mm -hmm. And as you're in this place, does it seem like you have a body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. What do you look like here? I have sandals mm -hmm. and big toes. Big toes. They look like uh, man toes. Man toes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out about how you look. What else do you seem to be wearing there? Red shorts. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like a swishy material, but similar to like a trunks, swimming trunks, mm -hmm. and a white shirt with a collar on it. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? <laughs> kind of like a tourist, mm -hmm. maybe kind of like 80s style, mm -hmm. but not quite. Mm -hmm. Are you carrying anything? I have something kind of wrapped around my waist. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? Uh, it looks like a fanny pack. Mm -hmm. It's black. It's kind of leather-like. Mm -hmm. So what com comes to mind when you see this place? Where is this place? Uh, it, it seems like an estate, but I get the feeling of... It reminds me of something more, I don't know, like royal. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's people visit here or if it's private. Do you seem that, do you think that you're touring this place? It seems like it, but mm -hmm. there's nobody else there. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is that you do next. Where do you go to? I want to go inside. All right. So let's find the place to get in. It's a, a pretty big brick uh, building, but it's it's kind of, it feels older. Um, it has columns in the front, and it has uh, a lot of windows and kind of like a, a porch. Mm -hmm. um, black shutters. Mm -hmm. It's pretty large. It has stairs that go up the front. All right, so let's take those stairs and see how you get inside. The doors have a lot of glass. Mm -hmm. They almost seem more like back doors, though. Hmm. As you go towards this, this structure, does it seem like you live there? No. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're just checking the place out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's inside. See if you can get in. There's a lot of wood. Everything's made out of wood. Mm -hmm. Dark wood. Dark wood? Yeah. So what, what room are you in? Mm -hmm. I can see a wooden table and chairs with kind of like a hutch wooden hutch seems like uh, like someone would sit there mm -hmm. and there's a lot of windows on the other side of the room 
What do you think this room is used for? Well, the sun is really bright, and it almost seems like a room that you would just watch the sunrise. Hmm. Do you see any plants or anything in there, or decorations? Not in the house. Mm -hmm. There is kind of like a, something in the corner. It's also wood with like a big wheel on it. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that's used for? Uh, it also has like a, a pedal and a seat. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like you would spin, spin wool or something on, mm -hmm. like a spindle. Yes. Very good. So let's see where you go next. Let's mm. continue exploring this place. I want to... There's a hallway to the left. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of narrow. It seems like it kind of goes to an office type area. Mm -hmm. But it's old. like a, a lot of books and a desk. Mm -hmm. Does this place seem familiar to you? It reminds me a lot of like a, like an old house of a president. Mm -hmm. it's like I want to just say like Monticello or something like mm -hmm. that is what it reminds me of. But it has different pieces in it from different time periods. Like yes. it's a place that you can walk around to see history, but there's nobody here. Mm -hmm. What else do you find in this place? I just, I look out the windows a lot because it almost seems like there's a lot of nature, but it feels like it drops off, like you're almost in a mountainous area. Yes. Or like really large hills. Mm -hmm. So when you look out, you see the sun, but it kind of drops down. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know why that's so intriguing. Do you feel that uh, this place is in the United States or if, a different country? It feels like the United States. Mm -hmm. What's, what state comes to mind? I feel like it's somewhere in the Northeast, mm -hmm. maybe like Vermont type area or something with the rolling hills, mm -hmm. a lot of greenery. Yes. And there's not mo anything else around. It's just all forest and greenery and hills. Okay. So let's find out why you're there and let's go to another significant event that same lifetime. Close that scene and let's go to the next significant event when something is happening. Where are you? <sighs> Look around. I keep going back and forth. It's mm -hmm. like I'm still there. Mm -hmm. And then it gets white. Mm -hmm. And there's little pieces that will come through that sound like I can hear it, but I can't see it. Mm -hmm. What do you hear? It's like excitement, mm -hmm. almost like uh, gambling or right. like spinning, the clicking noise and people yelling. Mm -hmm. So just follow the noise and see where you go. Mm. There's a lot of men mm -hmm. with mustaches. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? They have vests. Um, with white, kind of flowy shirts under it, mm -hmm. black pants. Look around you, what does this place look like? Uh, kind of like a saloon. Mm -hmm. And what is everybody doing? Um, some are gambling, some are just sitting, drinking. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I see the sun again coming through the, the front of the mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at your own body. Do you feel that you have a body there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Hmm. Uh, 
the boots. Mm-hmm. But they're more like cowboy. Yes. But black and not very detailed. Mm-hmm. How are you dressed? Mm, my pants are kind of tight. They're long pants, dark color. Mm-hmm. They're form-fitting. And I feel like I have some kind of jacket on. Mm-hmm. And a, like a button-up collared shirt underneath. Yes. And a hat. Mm-hmm. What do you look like? Like a sheriff. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you have authority there? Uh, yes and no. Mm-hmm. I do, but it's just so... People do what they want. Mm-hmm. What year is this for you? Uh, definitely 18, maybe 1870s. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to say 1878. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is that you, you do there. I want you to go to the place where you work, close that scene, and let's see where it is that you work. What does it look like? I don't know. I, I just want to keep walking. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe that's where you work. I don't feel like I go in a building much at all mm -hmm. or that, that there's one for me. Mm -hmm. So as you're walking, what do you do? Um, just kind of look around and uh, there's like a path through the center of the town, but I always want to look towards where the green is, the mm -hmm. trees and the sun. Why is that? I don't know. It catches my attention. It's so bright. Mm -hmm. It's golden. And it's always at the end, like the town ends. And then there's the green and the gold. Mm -hmm. Is there anything unusual about the sun? look at it. I don't ever get to see the actual sun. I just see its brightness, its mm -hmm. rays. Mm -hmm. It's very golden. So let's find out what happens. Let's go to a significant event. Hmm. I feel like I'm just laying in a bed. Mm -hmm. There are women around. Mm -hmm. They come and go to see how I'm doing. Mm -hmm. They're very lively. Um, like, who, who are these women? The one woman is. I don't. I don't think she's my wife. I. She seems like a different type of family member. Mm-hmm. Maybe a sister. Yes. But she has a blue skirt, a white shirt, and she has kind of like a white bonnet type mm -hmm. on her. But it looks kind of like a, a night bonnet. Yes. She's she's funny. She's just, it's very like, robust, but jolly. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Forties. Mm-hmm. So what is, what's going on with you that you need to be taken care of? What happened to you? Um, I, I feel like I'm just exhausted. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. I just want to be home. I don't, I just want to be there and I'm tired. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do what I was doing anymore. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to exhaust you? People don't want to change. Mm -hmm. They just do what makes them happy in the moment. They don't want to listen. So do you feel that it was lawless in this place? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely, but it's small, small town. Mm -hmm. It was manageable? Yeah. 
but I feel like I'm not helping. They're not listening. It's futile. Yes. So let's find out what happens next. Close that scene and let's go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Hmm. I feel older, definite older. Okay. Like frail. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Oh, uh, like 70s maybe. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I'm... I'm pretty slumped over <laughs> and um, very frail with a little hair. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I'm sitting in a chair outside watching something. Let's find out what you're looking at. It's like someone came to visit the town. Someone important. I don't know if this is something that means something to me. Mm -hmm. The person or... Let's see who that person is. I think they're campaigning for something. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they have potential to change people. Yes. So let's find out who that person is. Uh, he wears black, like a black suit, mm -hmm. a white shirt under it, and he has a beard. What do you think that he's campaigning for? Kind of like a presidential type mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. He has roundish glasses. Um, his beard is like a brown. He's kind of chubby. I don't. I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about him? I think he's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. He's. I don't know how to describe him. He's. He's excited. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he might be a little naive for the job. Yes. Uh, I think... Uh, I feel amused. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so let me know if something happens after this. There's a lot of things going on. It seems like the town has gotten a lot bigger. Yes. Um, there's a lot of like horse in carriages or um, you know carrying supplies behind them. I don't know if there's something going on that like some kind of skirmish or like uh, some type of war maybe or something getting ready to start or feels like they're getting ready for something. Mm -hmm. So let's advance it a little bit more to find out what it is that they're preparing for. I think they want to prepare for battle. Mm -hmm. Who are they battling? Mm. Definitely close by. It's within the same, it's like the same country. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the U.S. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's opposing sides. They don't agree, but the people in this town seem like they just want to be involved in something. Hmm. I'm not convinced that they really even care. They like to fight? <laughs> they don't really seem to care about the cause. It's just they're always wanting to get into something that mm -hmm. doesn't even concern them. Mm -hmm. So that's. I think that's why the guys here, he thinks that Maybe this town will get behind him for his cause, or, mm -hmm. but these people just, they're not smart, they don't care. <laughs> they just really like to be involved or have some kind of attention mm -hmm. on them. Yes. Very good. So let's see, close that scene and let's move forward to see what happens next. I feel like I'm back home. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right. So where are you right now, physically? 
I'm in the bed. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? I'm by myself. All right, so go ahead and to go to the last moment of your life. Take your last breath and let go of that body. And tell me what happens to your soul after you transition. Where do you go? Uh, it's kind of white, mm -hmm. just a lot of white and soft, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, there's a lady there. She's got a long white gown or dress or... Mm -hmm. She's also very soft looking. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to meet with her? Good. Mm -hmm. Connect with her mind to mind and let's find out who this woman is. Who is she? Well, at first I feel like she's kind of like my daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but she's also a guardian that watches over me. Mm -hmm. So what does she say once you meet her? Connect mind to mind. Her thoughts will be yours. She said, welcome home, Dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like she's been waiting. Yeah. But she'd been with me the whole time, even though she wasn't physically there. Mm -hmm. But she's older. She's grown. I think she was young when she died. Mm -hmm. But she looks very angelic. Is there anything else that you notice in this place? Um, it's starting to get a little bit of structure to it. Alright, let's find out what it turns into. It's still white, but it's like a... Kind of like a glass bridge mm -hmm. that's surrounded by the white. Tell me where you are. I'm walking to like a larger, larger area, like a big dome. Mm -hmm. It has several hallways in it. There's a lot of people coming and going. What do these people look like? They remind me of like um, people coming and going to work like in a big city. Mm -hmm. They're so fast and they have uh, like some, they're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, what do they look like? I can only catch flashes. I saw one lady, she had short brown hair and was wearing like a, like a business suit with a skirt. It was gray. She had red pumps on. Mm -hmm. I don't, she was in a hurry. Does this place seem modern or ancient? <laughs> Both. Mm -hmm. It has a modern look, but an ancient feel. It's, it's old. Um, I, it's not just old, it's like timeless. There's there's no time, but some of the people I see still think there's time. Mm -hmm. They're still in a hurry. So what is this place with a dome? Well, it's just kind of like this, the center where you can go down many different hallways, mm -hmm. I guess they are. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess you just yeah, it's like the meeting place of all the hallways mm -hmm. where people come and go. So let's find out from somebody or your guide or somebody else what this place is. What do they call this place? The, the center. Mm -hmm. The center? <laughs> yeah. And what happens in the center? I think it just connects a lot of the different places. Mm -hmm. People go down different halls, but I think that's kind of like designated kind of, I mean, you can go wherever you want, but you have a certain direction. Mm -hmm. So what direction are you going into right now? I want to go straight into the left. All right. So take me with you and tell me everything that happens as you go straight into the left. Uh, I noticed the floors, they are kind of like turned to marble. Mm. Though they're black marble and the the hallway is also kind of round like dome shaped and white but it kind of starts to curve underneath your feet hmm. let's so, find out where it curves to and it kind of just encapsulates you mm -hmm. as you're walking through yes 
You can see like little lights. Different, they're different colors, like uh, green and pink. What are these lights? I think they're in like this fluffy white stuff. I feel like they're, I don't know if they're people or if they're like uh, projections of lives. Mm -hmm. Why don't we find out? Let's ask the question of your guides. How would you address that? They say they're like seeds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like seeds. Yeah. And what do these seeds grow into? I think they're energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, they seem like possible lives. Mm -hmm. Possible possibilities. Possibilities. Yeah. So are you in this place by yourself or someone with you? The the girl the is girl with, is with me. You? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's connect with her mind to mind and heart to heart, and let's find out what it is that you're doing there now. Are you making any decisions? I will be. Okay. I have to. I have to figure out what I, I need to do. And then what? Eventually, I will choose a new life, but I have to review this one first. Oh, all right. So let's go to the place where you review this life. Where is this? It's kind of reminds me of a courtroom a little bit, mm -hmm. but not as harsh. It's it's not judgment. Mm -hmm. You won't be punished. But the there are more elder type people. How many do you see? Seven. Mm -hmm. Is there any dialogue, mental dialogue between any of you? They're kind of just waiting for me to to start. Mm -hmm. I already know I didn't I didn't try hard enough. Yes. I um I thought people were just gonna do what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I didn't I didn't try hard enough to to teach them the right way. Yes. So that was the. Was that the lesson that you needed to do? Uh, I, uh, I, I wasn't a good teacher. Mm. I, uh, I tried, but I just, I don't know. It seems to me you're trying to avoid any conflict <laughs> yeah, in your life. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do your guides tell you anything about that? Any elders, do they say that's, anything? Yeah, that's a common theme. I, I avoid confrontation, mm -hmm. but I'm, I've, I'm supposed to be a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not meant to be easy. So tell me about this life review. What happens there? Uh, I kind of see flashes of things. Do you, how do you view these flashes? Are they on a screen somewhere? No, they just kind of come mm -hmm. at, like uh, in my head. Mm -hmm. I can see them and I'm there. As you watch these scenes, how do you feel about them? I was uh, kind of weak. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't try hard enough in anything. I wanted, I just wanted to be simple and not, I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be complicated. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get involved. So what do the elders tell you about that decision of not getting involved? You wasted your time. Mm. You, there were so many situations that you were supposed to be involved. 
you avoided it. You lost a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. Love, respect, confidence. Mm -hmm. Just because you didn't want to get involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you decide to do now, now that you know that this life was meant to be for teaching? I have to try again. Mm -hmm. So how do you determine what parents, what country, what circumstances your next life will be all about? Mm. No, I feel like I have decisions, but I don't, I don't know where I make these decisions mm -hmm. or with who. I feel like the, the elders in the room are, they kind of guide you as to what you need to do, but you have to go somewhere else to mm -hmm. choose it. You have to make your own decision. Yeah, somewhere else, not in this room. Okay. So let's close the scene and let's go to that scene where you determine what kind of life you'll have next. Hmm. It's, there's a lot of different aspects to it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you can view them if you want on a screen mm -hmm. but there's also it's kind of like a library mm -hmm. um, you, there's other people involved to help you so let's see where it is that you went Where do you go? I feel like I'm in a... It's kind of circular. I can still see the library, but I went up the stairs. Mm -hmm. To It's like a circular area with large, I guess, screens mm -hmm. on the wall. Mm -hmm. And what do you see? Right now it's dark, but I think... Someone else is controlling the um, whatever it is that it's kind of like a, similar to computer system, hmm. but different. I I think that's what those seeds, the colors that you can put them in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but it kind of like takes them and scans them. Hmm. Different possibilities. Yeah. And do you make a choice yourself? I don't pick the seeds, mm -hmm. I don't think. It's like they're already there. Yes. Maybe those were chosen for me, but you can generate them in different aspects mm -hmm. to create different scenarios or lives. You can see them, you can watch parts of them. So let's see what it is that you decide. I feel like my parents are, it's difficult, but they have, they need to learn, they have things to learn that I can help with, mm -hmm. uh, that they may be open to. I don't know. Are there anything that, are any of these lives that jump out at you? Hmm. I can only see my dad on the screen. Mm hmm. So, what is it that you're supposed to be learning with him? More connection and 
less ego. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be don't let it get in the way. Don't worry about looking stupid mm -hmm. or emotional. Yeah. Anything else? He's uh, behind him. There are the trees and the sun again. Mm. I don't. I don't know why it keeps showing up. It's, it just stays there. Okay. So now let's close that scene and now let's go to the next significant scene to find out the purpose of the lifetime of Jane. To lo be loved. Learning to be loved. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose? It's one. Mm -hmm. Loving and being loved. It's not easy mm -hmm. to be loved. So who are you going to pick to come with you in the lifetime of Jamie in order to help you with your purpose? My sister. Mm -hmm. There are others that they're not clear. Mm -hmm. What role is your sister going to take in this lifetime of Jamie? I feel kind of like she's my grandma. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything that happens before you begin, begin the incarnation of Jamie? I feel like there's some downtime mm -hmm. to kind of gather information or prepare because it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you do to prepare for this life? I don't think I'm used to being a female. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel natural. So why do you choose to be a female in the incarnation of Jamie? I, I didn't, I didn't let them love me. Mm -hmm. I didn't let women love me. They tried to, they took care of me and they loved me, but I just, I don't know, I wanted to be alone. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know why I didn't want their love. Or I did, but I didn't want to show it. So is that something that you're going to work on in the next incarnation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else are you planning to do in this incarnation of Jamie? I need to, to, I need to, to be involved, I need to, I want to say I need to, I need to step it up, mm -hmm. I haven't done enough. Now are any of the guides telling you this or is this something that you know? I know. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of doing your own lesson plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me know if there's anything else from that scene that's important. What else do you discover? There's a lot of dominant females in this life. Mm -hmm. And what's the purpose of doing that, of choosing this? They don't give you a choice whether you want to be loved or not. Mm, they just love you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Um, it can cause arguments, but it's all for good. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, so let's just leave that scene behind. Take a deep breath in. Leave that scene behind. And let me now speak with the higher self. Do I have permission to speak with Jamie's higher self? Yeah. 
Thank you. I know you could have shown Jamie many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one that you did? The one first of the tourists. What was that all about? Uh, I think that's how she feels. Mm-hmm. She feels like a tourist in this life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's a representation? Yeah, she mm -hmm. just needs to look, look around because you'll find what you need and follow what you follow what is beautiful. You will find what you need. Mm -hmm. Good. And why did you show her the one of the sheriff? Who was it being respected? She's really big on respect now. Mm -hmm. Uh, she, it's her origin to understand herself more, why respect and intelligence is so important to her, mm -hmm. and the masculine side that she feels sometimes, mm -hmm. but she also fights love. She fights it away. She pushes it away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that from the, all these lifetimes where she didn't know how to learn? Yeah. How to love? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So in this lifetime, she has to learn this lesson? Yes. Okay. Now you have seen her go through many different things. She came in fighting into this life? Yeah. Why did she choose this one? Uh, there's a lot to do. A lot of things to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Um, to gain strength, she's very strong. Um, she didn't use that strength much before. Mm -hmm. Is she using it now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the most important thing that she needs to know about her life right now? You don't always have to fight. Mm. Okay, because she came in fighting. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's fought for a long time. Okay, so she can kind of chill and let ha life happen? She doesn't have to fight everything because not all things are bad. Mm -hmm. She fights everything. She just doesn't feel worth, worthy of love. Mm -hmm. she, she fights it. She she will love others, but she doesn't feel good enough. Mm -hmm. So what can she do now to help herself grow in her spiritual path? Uh, just to accept herself. She has to accept that she has great things, talent, mm -hmm. strength. Um, charisma, things that she's worthy of love, that she just has to let go and not try to control everything. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have much control because this is a free will planet. <laughs> is she trying to control everybody else's free will? Uh, she, she tries to control herself mm -hmm. and doesn't let things just happen. So can you tell her what the difference is between her trying to control things and allowing it to happen naturally? She thinks too much about it, mm -hmm. of what might happen, what could happen, what it might feel like. But then you miss the things that are supposed to happen, mm -hmm. that she chose to happen. So had she been where she's supposed to be, it wouldn't happen the way it should? I think some things still, they still happen. She chose that. Mm -hmm. um, but when things are, she lets go and things are good and then she tries to hold on and 
try to control it again. She <laughs> thinks too much about where it's supposed to go mm -hmm. instead of just letting it go. So in order for her to manifest anything, what's the secret formula? Now she's dwelling on it. You just put it out there. Mm -hmm. The yes. universe takes care of it. So there's nothing we need to do once we've set the intention? You set the intention and you do the best that you can do the, the right thing mm -hmm. and the rest is taken care of. Okay. Know that once you send it out there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. If you let it. Yeah. So it's almost like planting a seed and, and watering it to grow. Yeah. You have to take some sort of action. Yeah, you have to give it sunlight. Some love, some energy, but, yeah. but you can't grow the seed yourself. The seed has to grow on its own. Yeah, you, you can put it out there, mm -hmm. but you have to nurture it as well. Yes. But if you don't believe in it, you don't trust it, mm -hmm. you don't try to live the best way that you can mm -hmm. then it enough it doesn't it turns dark mm -hmm. so it's just like a seed yeah it's it seems to be that that's how nature is yeah mm -hmm. you don't see it growing when it's in the dark no but it's still growing even though you water it it's It'll but eventually come. If you don't believe in it, it'll, it'll die. Mm -hmm. Has she been uh, guilty of killing a lot of her dreams that way? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. She needs to do things on her own and not wait for other people to catch up. Okay. But she's scared. Mm -hmm. Well, one of her dreams is to be able to travel the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's holding her back from that? She doesn't know if that she can make it happen that, mm -hmm. and that she doesn't have to wait for the opportunity to come. Mm -hmm. That she can make it. What do you tell her? Just do it. <laughs> no matter what? Yeah. Okay, good. Is she meant to marry somebody? She can. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of people in her future that she doesn't have to make that a cemented mm -hmm. that the family will be everywhere that she goes. Mm -hmm. She will meet new people. She will still have a base, but she doesn't have to be um, nuclear. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to be in one place. She can move. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. What about being a mother? <laughs> <laughs> She's already mo the mother to people. Yes. She doesn't have to give birth to. She's already has. She's already mother. Okay. She wants to know about her brother in this lifetime, Sabby. <laughs> uh, that's that's a guide. That's a guide. <laughs> yeah. So she always said that he was never a cat. He no. was always. He didn't seem like a cat. No. So what was he actually? You say he's a guide. He's but her one of her guides. Okay. So why did he have to leave? I mean, and we know that. She didn't need him there anymore. Okay. She had moved on. Mm -hmm. She was getting more independent. Mm -hmm. She didn't need his protection anymore. Okay. Was he there to look out for her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know we went through, she went through a lot of heavy duty stuff when yeah. she was a kid. How did he help her? He showed her love, unconditional love. Mm -hmm. That he took her mind off things and showed that it, it was okay, that just so much love. So while she was going through her crazy adolescent times? He was around, but she had to, 
She had to figure it out. Mm -hmm. She was on a different path then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Savvy was there for the, the childhood, not the teen years. Mm -hmm. So now that Savvy is, has transitioned over, what does he do now with her? Is he still in her life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has he come back as another animal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? He's not as active mm -hmm. when he's there when you need him. Mm -hmm. He's 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 the German Shepherd. Mm. He's the Jethro. Jethro. And she picked him. She recognized his energy. Mm -hmm. Nobody else saw it. They thought the dog was too um boring <laughs> too passive yeah and mm -hmm. um too loyal too um aggressive towards others that are not the immediate family mm -hmm. protecting but, protecting her yeah mm -hmm. and her her um loved ones her boyfriend and his his parents he came into another family that she was with the, that were loving to her. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Well, she wants to know what one thing she can do now to propel her towards achieving her dream and traveling the world. Now, you basically said, said set an intention, mm -hmm. but career-wise, is there something that she could be doing to work and travel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. She, she has an idea. Mm -hmm. She uh, she's going a certain path mm -hmm. that that is good. Um, she just doesn't see all of it yet. Mm -hmm. But as they say, you don't need to see the whole staircase right. to take the first step. She just needs to keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, she will find it soon. Good. She will. She is already let go of some of her control that's, that's how she's gotten to where she is now wonderful good she says that um she feels that her life's work is to help people and animals yeah but help them with what <laughs> what specifically does she have to help them with? Uh, what's the mission the she already is on to something with the animals. Mm -hmm. They need help. They're already innocent, mm -hmm. but exploited. She's already started helping them with certain things. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds to me like babies are the same thing. Yeah. They come in and we change them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She needs to be like hope or to show them that they're not bad. They're not who people try to make them to be. Mm -hmm. She needs to show them who they are and help them always be their true self. Good. Good. Very good. Will she understand that? Yeah. Good. Is it in her best interest to continue with her job and pursue or pursue a master's degree? Yeah, she's she's biding her time mm -hmm. until it's time to to take it. Yeah, it's time to start mm -hmm. what she's supposed to do. Good. It'll help her get in her get into where she needs to be. Mhm. Mm and can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will help her with that? Who will walk with her? Uh, there are many. There are many already? Yeah. Okay, good. Are there any that she can address by name? Yeah. It's a weird name. Mm-hmm. 
It's got, it almost sounds like Ruby mm -hmm. as for short. Mm -hmm. Ruby for short. Okay. It's a male. Okay, good. How else can she find fulfilling work? She's, she already knows to go to nature. Mm -hmm. it, it tells her what to do and mm -hmm. it clarifies her mind. Okay. Now in getting to uh, working with nature, is she, should she be relocating for work or career? Where she's more in nature? Uh, she will. Mm -hmm. She will be where there's much more of it. Um, much more accessible. Mm -hmm. What's going to lead her to this new place? Is it going to be a job? Yeah, a job and, and passion. And passion. Mm -hmm. When do you feel that's going to happen? What time frame? In a few years. Okay, good. So don't get worked up about it. It'll happen when it happens? Yes. Okay, good. Is there anything that she needs to do in the meantime to set that intention? S just build her relationships. Okay. She doesn't feel confident enough to go anywhere yet mm -hmm. because she doesn't want to leave her grandfather mm -hmm. and her boyfriend, but her boyfriend can come. Okay. Her grandfather will... He will, he will flourish. Mm -hmm. He will be sad at first, but he will um, get his own life back. Okay. So when she loosens, loosens the, 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 the leash on him yeah. a little bit? They, they both mm -hmm. need to, they depend on each other too much. Okay. Good. Would you do a body scan on her, please, and see what's going on with her physically? Hmm. What do you see? The back of the neck. Mm -hmm. What's going on in the back of the it's neck? It's like a big ball of darkness. A big ball of darkness. Okay. Would you allow me to address this ball of ar uh, darkness today to see how we can assist it? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put my hand in this area and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What may I call you? Jim. Jim. Jim, how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. And what year is it for you, Jim? Nineteen sixteen. Nineteen sixteen. Jim, what happened to you to lose your body? I think of an accident. You are. What kind of accident, Jim? I feel like there was an altercation. Mm -hmm. There's a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. Did someone hit you with that baseball bat? I feel like we were a gang. Mm -hmm. You were a gang? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think we fought. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't remember what happened to me. Mm -hmm. I only remember the fight. All right. So I want you to look at that from a spiritual aspect, and let's see how it is that you lost your life. What happened to you? I feel like I was hit in the head. Mm -hmm. With a baseball bat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you see your body there, Jim, what happened to your, to your neck? I feel like it was damaged. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can't find any peace from that, can you, Jim? No. All right. So, Jim, I'd like for you to use your intention, your mind, to go to that place. And I want you to go ahead and begin to heal your neck. Go ahead and start healing it so that you can feel the relief of having your neck back. Feel it being put back exactly how it needs to be put. And tell me how it feels to have your neck back. I feel awake. Mm-hmm. I was 
angry. Mm -hmm. I, that's all I can see is anger. Mm -hmm. Like my eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. So Jim, do you realize that that anger has caused this continuous pain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to see who it is that hit you. Let's find out who hit you. That's another mm -hmm. boy. Take a look at his eyes. And let's see who that was. They're dark brown eyes. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything to do with any of his past lives? Did you do anything to him in another lifetime? It feels like it. Mm -hmm. What did you do to him? I feel like I took something from him. Mm -hmm. What do you think it was? Oh, something to do with a woman. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Did you steal his woman? Just, yeah, just because I could. Mm -hmm. So do you now understand, Jim, that he was paying you back? Yeah. Can you forgive him for that, Jim? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Knowing that Every time you do something, you end up having debt for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for not letting go in this lifetime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jim, what was the reason that you attached a Jamie? She was angry. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Probably 11. Mm -hmm. And what made her so vulnerable? What made you slip in? She was dealing with so many people that were trying to control her mm -hmm. or get her to be what they wanted her to be and they, nobody understood her mm -hmm. and they took their anger out on her and she was confused and angry mm -hmm. and there was no relief. It was, it was constant. So is that what you would, what attracted you to her? Yeah, I understood her. Mm -hmm. So you decided to use her body in the meantime? I can fight for her. Mm -hmm. I can give her more power. And what has that done for her? Have you caused her any damage with that fighting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else have you caused her? lack of control of her temper mm -hmm. she's gotten better mm -hmm. she's gotten stronger without me mm -hmm. what else do you do to her she's scared she doesn't want to do things that she can't foresee. Mm-hmm. Does it have to do with you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you were kind of blindsided, weren't you? I couldn't see for so long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Jim, are you ready now to let go of this woman and take your journey back home? Yeah. All right. So look inside of you. And you're gonna see a little white spark. This is the spark that created you, the spark of the creator. I'd like for you to expand that spark out bigger and bigger. And as you expand it, how does that make you feel? Warm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So do you feel any better now, Jim? Yeah. All right. So would you like Jamie to forgive you for doing all of this to her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't leave here with that, with that heavy baggage, can you? No. Uh-huh. You have forgiven the boy who, who lost, who uh, ended your life, but you need to get forgiveness from her too. Yeah. All right. So take a deep breath in. I'm going to count from one to three. Tap your forehead, Jamie. 
What would you like to say to Jim? Do you forgive him? Yeah. All right. So let's send them off back home with lots of light and love and take a deep breath in. And Jim, I'm going to ask my angels of the white light to surround you. And they always tell you something and tell me what it is that they've told you. What do they say? Let's come on. All right. So they're ready to take you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So go ahead through the crown of her head. And Archangel Michael is going to assist you. And I'm going to ask for Archangel Zatkiel to help you. To help you with all of that forgiveness. And you can go straight to the light. And tell me if there's anybody there waiting for you. What do you see? Her grandmother mm. is here. Her grandmother is there. Mm -hmm. Do you have any relations with her grandmother? I feel like I do. Mm -hmm. What do you feel that she is to you? She's, she's like a mom. Mm -hmm. You've been around her for a long time. Yeah. And since her grandmother has been helping her, I'm sure she's been right there with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Jim, may the light of the universe always accompany. Thank you very much. Go ahead and release all of that energy from her neck and take it with you. Thank you very much. And now let me speak with the higher self. Can you tell me how her neck is looking now? Better. Better. Very good. So, can you scan her body and let's see if we have any others that her have perhaps been involved with her addictions. Yeah, there's definitely pressure in the liver area. Mm -hmm. All right. So would you allow me to speak with this soul? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to move my hand over that area and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Mm -hmm. Lisa, you've been around her for a while, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How old was she when you attached to her? Two. Two. Mm-hmm. Have you been talking to her all this time? I try to. Mm-hmm. Lisa, how old are you? Um, I don't know. How old do you feel, Lisa? Sometimes I feel young, like mm -hmm. seven, and sometimes I feel old, like 30. Mm -hmm. Lisa, what year is it for you? Uh, it's the 70s. In the 70s. Mm -hmm. How did you lose your life, Lisa? In a car. In a car. You had a car accident? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what was going on? Why did you... I just wanted to go to the concert. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of traffic. Mm-hmm. Were you drinking at the time? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Look back and see what happened in that car accident. I was in the back. Mm-hmm. You were in the back seat? Mm-hmm. In the middle. Mm-hmm. I think... I went through the front. You went through the windshield? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened to you, Lisa? I got crunched. Mm-hmm. What part of you got hurt? My face. Mm-hmm. My neck. My back. Mm-hmm. My organs. What happened to your liver? I think it got cut. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, what have you been causing this woman all her life? Problems. Like what? She, I taught her how to deal with her pain through 
partying, mm -hmm. drinking, and drugs. Did you do that, Lisa? I helped. Mm -hmm. But did you do that in your life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think you were just looking for a body, weren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did she invite you in, Lisa, or did you come on your own? She was young and powerful, open. Mm -hmm. She she was like a light. Mm -hmm. Is that what attracted you yeah. to her? Mm -hmm. Like a beacon of light? Yeah. Uh huh. Plus, she was a little girl. You could start all over again, couldn't mm, you? Yeah. But unfortunately, it wasn't your body. No. It was somebody else's. Yeah. So, Lisa, I want you to go back to that scene of that accident, and I want you to go ahead and put your body back. I want you to fix yourself using your mind. The power of intention. You have that power. Go ahead and start fixing your face your back, your neck, your organs. See yourself coming back and becoming whole again. And tell me how that feels. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you feel whole again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that you feel whole, Lisa, it's time to go home. Are you afraid of going home? Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, do you feel any anger towards the one who caused the car accident? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Who are you angry at? Uh, the man. Mm -hmm. The man who crashed you or the one that was driving? The driving. Mm -hmm. He was being stupid. What, who was he to you? Uh, I liked him. Mm. Did he survive? Or did he die too? I think he got hurt. Mm -hmm. But I... But he survived? I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be something to be angry about, wouldn't it? Mm. The one who caused the accident. Yeah, it was his fault. Yeah. Can you forgive him for not knowing any better? How old was he? Seventeen. Mm. Do you realize that when someone is 17, they make a lot of mistakes? Yeah. Can you forgive him for being so stupid and not knowing any better? Yeah. Have you done stupid things too, Lisa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you want someone to be angry for the rest of their life at you for making a silly mistake? No. All right. So go ahead and let's forgive this young man for not knowing any better. I want you to take all of that from your your soul all right just release that and can you forgive yourself for not moving on for holding on and trying to keep that anger going for the rest of your life yeah mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put my hand on your chest Lisa and I want you to give me all of that I don't want you holding on to any of that any longer Go through your whole body and let's pull out all of that anger, all of that anguish, knowing that you lost your life too early, not being able to fulfill your purpose. Give it to me and tell me when I have it. Do I have it all, Lisa? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take that and send it to the universe. Lisa, what would fill you up even to make you feel even better? I just want recognition. Mm-hmm. For what, Lisa? For who I was. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't put recognition in there, but I could put love. Would you like to feel love in there? Mm -hmm. Let's put lots of love. And for yourself and for others, and I'm going to touch, touch your forehead and seal that in. And now, Lisa, I want you to look inside of you, and there's a spark of light there. That light is what created you. It's the spark of creation. I want you to make that spark bigger and bigger. And tell me when it's taken over your whole body. What does that feel? Feels weird. Mm -hmm. Keep making it bigger until it feels nice and good. How does that feel? 
better. Mm-hmm. Would you like to feel even better? Mm. Uh-huh. So we're going to have the, the angels of the white light come and surround you, and they're going to take you home. But before you do, I want you to take out all of that energy that it's inside of her. Take out all of your energy and pull it out. And I'd like Jamie for you to go inside of your body and tell me what that energy looks like from the inside. What's been causing you all of this anger and all of this addiction? It's like a black funnel. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and use a tool to get rid of this blackness. What would you like to use? Perhaps a hose, a vacuum, light, water. What would you like to use to make it nice and bright? A, a vacuum. All right, so let's take a vacuum, a very big one, and let's just suck out all of that darkness. And that vacuum is going to go straight up to the light to be transformed and tell me what it looks like looks like really fast mm -hmm. pieces of black mm -hmm. get it all out go through your whole body and let's take all of this out you don't need to carry that darkness any longer it's sharp mm -hmm. it's almost like volcanic glass. Mm-hmm. And this is a special vacuum. Go ahead and keep pulling everything out. And tell me what's happening. It goes into the vacuum. Mm-hmm. But it's so crumbly. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't want to go. Alright, so I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael to help you. He's the healer. And I want him to go ahead and start healing that whole area. And as he goes through your whole body, you will feel the relief and see the changes magically happening. Tell me what it looks like as he puts his energy through there. It's blue. Mm-hmm. Like neon. Mm. It's, it's like white on the inside and blue on the outside. Beautiful. Like crystal. Mm hmm. And what's it doing to your insides? I feel really, really hot. Mm hmm. It takes a lot to melt all those shards of crystal, mm -hmm. huh? Mm hmm. Just keep telling me what's happening. It falls away. It's like like in a cave when you have the stalagmites and stalactites. Mm -hmm. but he turns them blue and they fall. Beautiful. And then they they can be taken away. All right. So keep vacuuming it. This is a team effort. Mm. You have as much power as anyone else. He's there to assist, but it's your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me when all of it is finally taken out. I, th I think it's gone. Mm, beautiful. So I'm going to ask Raphael to continue working on you, and let me speak with Lisa. Lisa, are you ready to go now? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have all of the angels of the white light to surround you and go ahead through the top of your her head and I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to accompany you and also Archangel Zadkiel is going to talk with you to help you with that forgiveness and tell me when you get to the light who's there who's there to recognize you I think it's him. Mm-hmm. Who's there? It's him. Mm-hmm. The, the one who 
caused the accident. Mm -hmm. What does he say to you? He's sorry. Mm -hmm. but, but he's been waiting. He's waiting a long time to say that to, mm -hmm. to me. How does it feel to know that he is asking for your forgiveness now? Good. Good. All right. So, Lisa, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much for assisting here. So let me speak with the higher self again and tell me how Jamie looks. Better. Mm -hmm. Is there anything left in, in her body? Hmm. There, there's some tension on the right side, the right shoulder area mm -hmm. so let's find out what that is let's bring that energy up 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 good afternoon are you male or female energy neither neither tell me a little bit about yourself what is it that you're causing jamie Stagnant. Stagnant. Who created you? Fear. Fear. So Jamie's fear, correct, created you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're a thought form. What else have you caused her? Isolation. Mm hmm So she keeps away from people? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Is that something that is helpful for her? To keep away from people? In fear? No. No. All right. So what are you doing to her shoulder? Does she feel any discomfort there? I'm heavy. Mm-hmm. Like the whole world is on her shoulder? Yeah. All right. Very good. So let me get back to you in a moment. <clears throat> let me tap your forehead. Jamie, you have a thought form that you've created on your shoulder out of fear. And since you created it, we cannot send it away because this is your creation. But we can transform it mm -hmm. because since you created it, you have the power to transform it into whatever it is that you want. So what would you like to transform this very powerful energy? What would you like to make it into this time to help you to, for your benefit? Hmm. And love. Mm-hmm. You want to send make it into love? Yeah. Would you like it to make it into self-love? Yeah. All right. Because once you send it into self-love, once you love yourself and you love your body, there's no way you can harm it. So why don't we go ahead and give that new role hmm. to that energy so that you no longer will do anything to harm it with drugs, with alcohol, with anything that is not of the highest benefit to you and your body. So let's go ahead and start transforming it. I want you to see it in your mind's eye, turning into love. Go ahead and transform that energy. And tell me how it feels on your shoulder. It swirls. Mm -hmm. It's lighter. Mm -hmm. Give it some color, some uh, beautiful colors. It turns pink. Mm -hmm. Very good. <clears throat> so let me speak with that energy now. Take a deep breath in. And thought form, now that you are love, how does it feel? Light, lighter. Mm -hmm. So now that she's made you into self-love, how can you help Jamie now? Hmm. Less, n no fear. Mm -hmm. Less, less overthinking. Mm -hmm. 
because once you love yourself, you can make decisions very easily, mm. knowing what's the highest good for you. Yeah, confidence. Mm, confidence, very good. Thank you so much for allowing Jamie to transform you into something positive that she can use for the rest of her life. Mm. Thank you very much. And let me speak with the higher self now. How does she look now? Good. Good. So I'd like for you to scan her whole body and go ahead and begin flooding her with that beautiful white light from the Creator. Mm -hmm. Sealing her from head to toe. Sealing all of the spaces that were occupied before by these hitchhikers that didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. And I'd like also to request that Raphael continue working with her to make sure that everything that has been left by these energies is completely dissolved. Very good. I'd like for you also to check her, her, her chakras and begin aligning all of the chakras. If there's any one in particular that needs attention to go ahead and work on that. And to go ahead and seal her aura to make sure that none of them can get back in. And if you would, take a look around the room and tell me if there are any others that are waiting to take their place. Any others? Always. Always. All right. So I'd like the Archangels to go ahead and call in your troops, the Angels of the White Light, the Angels of the Blue Flame, and the Warrior Angels. And I'd like for you to go ahead and put a big net around this darkness all of the ones in the room that are waiting to take advantage again and go ahead and flood them with that beautiful white light from the creator and as you flood them with the white light to remind them of who they truly are and take them back home to source thank you very much is there anything that we could have asked that I didn't ask today. Hmm. Hmm. Anything any of these shadow people or those the ones she was seeing? Uh, they're not human. Mm-hmm, they're not human. So how can she protect herself from these shadow people? Be in the light, mm -hmm. be in positivity. Wonderful. They don't, they're not able to even get near her. She has to keep them away. Mm-hmm. And seal herself off with the light. All right, so every morning, before she even gets out of bed and before she goes to sleep to seal mm -hmm. herself with the white light? They want to animate her. Mm -hmm. she's, she's powerful. They want her mm -hmm. so they can do what they want mm -hmm. with her power. Yes. Yes, she can, she can avoid them. She can stop them and keep them away. Mm-hmm. And why are they attracted to her? Does she have some sort of contract with them? No. She was confused at one time mm -hmm. about she didn't believe that there was anything positive mm -hmm. anymore. Okay. Has that changed now? Yes. Okay. So we don't need her, them in her life anymore? No. Good. Is there anyone that she could call on to help her keep them away? Mm. Her guides mm -hmm. help a lot. Her guides, uh-huh. She has been doing meditations that have the help. Good. With the white light and mm -hmm. source. Good, good. 
Now, she says that she feels like she has a split personality when she was young. Was that Lisa? It was many. Many. Um, Has she gotten rid of some of those? She's not as vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She's not as open. Yes. She was... She couldn't help it. Okay. She was their light. Okay. So she was like the, the light to the moth? Yeah. Coming towards them? Yeah. What about now? She says she still names some of her personalities. Are these the same folks we're talking about? Mm -hmm. I, I think she feels energies around her. Mm -hmm. She knows they're not her. Okay. They're just around, but she closes herself off so she can't see them or hear them. Mm -hmm. But sometimes she wants to, sometimes she doesn't. Okay. And what advice would you like to give her when she is dealing with these personalities? They just want your help. Okay, so in order for her to help them and not be affected by them, what would you like to suggest? What's the best way to help? She needs to learn how to open but safely. Okay. To learn how to help them. Mm -hmm. They want to move on. It's not, oh, they're not always bad. Okay. Just talk to them like they were people and yeah. help tell them to move on to the light? Yes. Okay, same as what we did here today. Mm -hmm. Good. So as she listens to this recording and understands how to do this process, she can do this on her own. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else that you would like to tell her today? Mm -hmm. She's... She is special. Mm -hmm. She doesn't think so. Mm -hmm. She tell, tell thinks her. everyone feels that way. So tell her what her superpowers are. She's very strong and has a bright light mm -hmm. that attracts people, energies, and living people. Mm -hmm. And if she stays in the light, she can help them without even trying. It's natural to her. Okay. So she can actually get get a lot done in this in this life, mm -hmm. helping other souls. Mm -hmm. And one more question. Why does she feel that when she works with crystals, they drain her? She, she's... They're on a different level hmm. mm -hmm. than she is. Okay. Her vibration is different. Um, she doesn't need their power like she thinks she does. Okay. She can draw certain things from them, but she already has them, so sometimes it takes it out. Hmm. Okay. For example, right now she's holding selenite. Hmm. And she's been attracted to selenite before. Mm -hmm. How does the selenite help her? It, it's like a conduit, and mm -hmm. it's for her. It's neutral. Okay. It doesn't drain her. It doesn't. She doesn't have to take from it. It just helps her open. Okay. Good. So can she use the selenite mm -hmm. to help open the channel? Yeah. To source. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Anything else? She just needs to stay with nature. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, she gets away sometimes and she won't go to nature because she's alone. Mm. Does she need mm. to be with someone to go to nature? No. Okay. Nature is like her mother, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can I ask for a guide to help her with that? I think we already did. Mm. To help her take her out to nature so that she can reconnect and ground herself again. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Anything else that you would like to tell her today? Perhaps why you brought her here today? She just needed to hear that she's capable and 
She needed help getting rid of some of these things that mm. have been here so long. Good. She's tried and she's done well. She's gotten rid of many things, but there's some that hide. Yeah. Very good. So now that she's gotten rid of the big ones, mm. do you see her life changing? She has more power to mm -hmm. take care of the rest. Wonderful. Terrific. Thank you so much. Do you feel that we're complete today? Mm. Very good. Now, wide awake feeling wonderful all over. Mm. Welcome back. Mm. How do you feel? Good. I feel... I still feel a little emotional mm. from talking about my cat, mm. realizing that my cat is now my dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird, but it's Did so it? real. I, Did it seem like I knew sense? it. I knew it all along, but then I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. it all of it makes sense. The the Lisa lady. Mm -hmm. Ever uh, since you were two. Uh, so you haven't even known what it's like to be by yourself. No. And you may feel some grief after this as yeah. you start to acclimate to yourself into your body without these yeah. other beings. I can still see. I know I saw her, what she looks like. Yeah. I saw everybody, what they look like. I saw the boy's death. Mm -hmm. I saw him like it was like I was standing there watching him yeah. when he got hit with the bat. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how do you feel? I feel like so many things. I just went with it, mm -hmm. even though I had no idea what it was. Mm -hmm. And then it all came back around. It made sense. Does it all make sense? It's all like puzzle pieces yeah. that finally fit mm -hmm. together. Yeah. So is this something that you want to share you want to keep private? Yeah, I would definitely share. I don't think there's anything personal mm -mm. in there, really. No, mm -hmm. there's so many people that are in recovery now, mm -hmm. so many people in active addiction that, and or just their families that are suffering. Um, so I'm not ashamed that mm -hmm. I'm an addict, a recovering addict. Mm -hmm. I don't so now that you've gone through this, does it does it make sense as to why you went through all that? Yeah. What do you? F what's the the thoughts that going through your head? Do you feel like you were controlled? Somewhat. Mm -hmm. I feel like I still have a part, a big part in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I take responsibility. Yes. I feel like um, it's more like um, like an influence yes. to introduce me to mm -hmm. something that right. I was looking for. I just didn't know that's what it mm -hmm. was and. But it was up to me to get better. Yeah. So. And now you know that you are very powerful. Yeah. Very good. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Mm. I don't know, maybe like an hour. It's an hour and 40 minutes mm. or so. <laughs> A lot longer. Huh? Yeah. And, and did you see everything clearly? I feel like I was looking at it through like a third eye. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And it was very clear for you. Yeah, I could see who I was. Mm -hmm. The man. Um, the sheriff? Yeah, he looked, I, I looked so much like um, Sam Elliott, <laughs> the actor. Mm hmm But, you know, dirty because it was a long time ago, you yeah. know. And yeah, people didn't have the same hygiene no, as they do in the movies. No. So here we are. We just had a very interesting session. Mm -hmm. And so tell everybody why you came here. I was curious. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this could help a lot. It's mm -hmm. something I've been interested in for many, many years mm -hmm. when I started reading the books. So I felt like it could help Yeah. Uh, make sense of my life and the things I've been through. And so now that you've had the experience, mm -hmm. how do you feel? I feel like it makes sense that I wasn't just lost the whole time. There were things going on that I didn't know about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. And, your higher, and the part with the higher self really was very interesting mm -hmm. because you found a lot of stuff yeah. <laughs> between lives mm -hmm. of what was going on. Yeah. A lot of the questions were answered there, too. Mm -hmm. So um, we're right now in the Cincinnati, Ohio area actually in Kentucky, but yeah. technically it's around Cincinnati. <laughs> and how far did you drive to get here? Uh, I drove 
It's like 60 miles. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. It'll be longer on the way home and rush hour traffic. With rush hour yeah. traffic. Good. Yeah. So do you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Good. And how did it feel like to be in hypnosis? Uh, it felt really warm and tingly, like hot almost, like in a sauna. Mm -hmm. um, and I, there was times where I had to tell myself to like, <laughs> go back. You yeah. Know, like, don't get involved don't try to talk you know this isn't your time <laughs> your you conscious know? mind mm -hmm. the yeah. ego yeah the ego mm -hmm. yeah because uh it would try to make sense of things that weren't made to make sense yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so if if you let that take over then nothing will come of it, it won't but make you sense. but you were it was really flowing mm -hmm. for you and you were able to see very clearly you yeah. say mm -hmm. yeah. a lot more than than usual, I mean, yeah. than most people. I, um, especially when you would touch my head mm -hmm. and my forehead, mm -hmm. I, when you touched it, it would last for a long time. Like it, it kind felt of like it was vibration? There. Yeah, yeah, and it was very Interesting. strong. Would you do this again? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so if you had other questions, you could do something mm -hmm. like this again. Perfect. Yeah. So if you want a session with me, uh, I am based out of Miami, Florida. You can go to my website, albowineman.com and you can sign up it's very easy mm -hmm. you just book the session and pay for the deposit and that's it mm -hmm. and i do travel as you see i'm right now in cincinnati i will be traveling all over the place and you can find out where i'll be going by signing up to my newsletter and it will tell you the next places where i'll be going so if i'm coming near you make sure you sign up really fast because mm -hmm. there's very limited slots yep. and a lot of people. <laughs> so it's almost like the lotto. You gotta, yep. you gotta go for it really as fast. As soon as you get that notification, you gotta sign up. Exactly. So I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope to get to see you real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Give me that hug. Oh.